Um, hello, good evening to everyone. Are you there? Good evening, good, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you, uh, sir? Fine. How do, you, how do you feel today? Great. Today was Great. a day off. <laughs> oh, nice. That's, that, that's good. And also, yes, um, it was terrible. Really? Yeah, Why? it was a busy day. Really? Oh, wow. But today, I was resting all day and drinking coffee, a lot of coffee. <laughs> Are you coffee colic? <laughs> yeah. Since yeah. I was like six years old. Oh. <laughs> if I don't drink coffee, I can't sleep. Really? You can't you can sleep? I so, can't sleep. It's oh, the opposite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because if I if I drink coffee around uh, five p.m., I can't sleep. <laughs> yes. Well. <laughs> yes. Um, well, uh, tonight is the last the last uh, date for working here in in with you guys in the platform too. Um, we're going to be checking the exercises that we have in the uh, English Corporative in the platform there. Uh, we're going to be checking those exercises. Uh, we're going to be um, uh, making a, a review about all the topics that has been developed. Um, and that's all. So that means that uh, if you sent the documents when we're asked uh, you are going to be in the next level of uh, of English cooperative well you're going to follow the process there uh, I want to listen you uh, well I want to listen everybody uh, there are just three connected right now but I want you to listen about your experience here uh, learning English uh, I want to listen to you about telling me uh, something about uh, how do you feel, uh, what has been your your best your best experience here learning English, uh, what has been some difficulties that you may have while learning English uh, with us or things like that. I want to listen to you about about that. So uh, let me see who wants to start, who wants to, to say something about it. Well, to me, it's a great experience because I want to improve my language skills. And it's great to be here with you and sharing your knowledge with us. And thank you for your time. <laughs> <laughs> OK, sir. No, that's my work. Uh, that, that's my work yeah, and trying to uh, help you to solve the exercise that you have in, in a platform. Uh, what about you, Mr. Uh, Evaristo? Uh, opportunity to practice English, uh, to improve my, my skills uh, in English, like uh, speaking uh, and listening uh, mm -hmm. uh, with the video conference you know and platform i can practice the uh, grammar and writing and but uh, i think it was uh, uh it was great uh and thank you thank you for your best patient and and I hope to you continue teach us. Okay, thank you, sir. Thanks for your words. Uh, Ms. Vidal, do you have any comment about this, uh, about this course? Do you want to say something that we need to improve or, I don't know, something to comment with, uh, to us? Can you hear me? 
Uh, I can hear you, but so far. I don't know if that happened uh, to the rest of, of the member of the video conference, but I I hear you so far, Miss. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have my I. I I have the one hundred percent of volume in my in my computer, but uh, tell us what do you think? Um, do you have any comment for us? Okay, now it's better. Okay. <laughs> well, in my case, I'm very um, grateful to be in this course because um, I think um, this helped us too much to practice English. And in my case, I think um, all is good. I like the method because I think I'm learning. Okay, very so, good. Very good, Miss. Thank you for your words. Uh, Miss Lopez. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Well, I only can say thanks a lot because this course on this course we learn we talk we conversation we make a new friends yeah including you and <laughs> thank you everybody help us yeah and i think that is very good okay thanks for your warnings so uh, we are the only one here <laughs> you are just for it. And well, I think that the, the rest is going to connect um, later. But uh, <clears throat> I have to show you right now and because I have to give you a, fit, a feedback about the, um, about the activities that we have on the platform. Uh, first of all, we have in the first exercise, section A, in the final exam, okay, we have a listening part. Uh, in this listening part, you, it's supposed that you are going to um, uh, listen the audio that's been set uh, for this activity, and you are going to select the correct answer. Uh, if you notice, in this exercise, we have a mix of different uh, different activities. The first one, um, the, the, the question is asking for a suggestion. Um, and here we have three options that you are going to help me with it. If you already completed, uh, you can tell me your answers. So, We are going what to listen. Wait, yeah. Yes, but we're going to listen. I'm just waiting uh, till the, the audio can refresh. What part is this? Uh, section eight of the final exam. Okay, that's better. Uh, well, we're going to listen this audio and then we're going to answer. Yeah, I know that you already complete this activity. I know it, but um, it's my word to, uh, in, in this video conference to help you to uh, check all the, uh, all the uh, sentences, all the questions and all the uh, exercises that you have here uh, to, to complete it, okay? To complete all those exercises. Uh, first of all, we're going to listen to uh, the audio and then you're going to uh, tell me uh, information about that. I will be asking you uh, one by one, okay? So please pay attention to it and I will play it right now. Okay, I think it's not working. Why it's not working?
Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Ugh, Frank. I really need to get in shape, but I'm having trouble deciding what's the best plan for me. Well, what about going to the community swimming pool, Sandy? It's a nice pool and just down the street from your place. Actually, I've tried that already and it didn't work for me. I was too tired to swim after working all day. Then why don't you join that new fitness center near your office? You could go during your lunch hour. I don't know. I've joined gyms before and I always stop going for one reason or another. They're a waste of money if you're a member but never go. Well then, I think you've got a predicament. Two. Hey, Sandy, what about getting a personal trainer? Hmm, I never thought of that before. A trainer can help you in two ways. You know, help you get in better shape and keep you motivated. Well, do you know where I can find one? You can probably find ads for trainers on the web. Sure, but I'd rather get a recommendation. You know, from someone who's had one. Oh, I just remembered. My cousin Rachel had a trainer and she really thought he was great. I remember. Then she ran in the Boston Marathon. Amazing. I'll get her number from you then. Three. Hey, Pam, did you see those photos that were sent from the two rovers on Mars? Yes, isn't it exciting? I love space exploration. Me too, but a lot of it happened before I was born, back in 1985. How long have we been exploring space? Well, the so-called space race really began during the early 1960s, when I was a kid. And ever since, I've really been fascinated by space travel and exploration. Yeah, but I think space travel is finished for now, don't you? Oh, no, Jerry. The future holds a lot of possibilities for space research and travel, and who knows? Four. Well, Pam, do you think by 2050 we will have set up human communities on Mars? Probably not. But perhaps by then people will have bought land on the moon and started building homes on it. No, really? Yes, and those little rovers will be continuing to perform their research on Mars and other planets, too. Scientists will be able to use even bigger robots to do almost anything, like building cities in space. I guess you're right. Just think of our International Space Station. Yes, I think that robots and astronauts will be performing amazing things in the future. Okay, um, there we have the audio. Do you listen to it? Yes, 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 teacher. Okay. Yes, okay, so let's answer this. Um, then the first question says, Sandy wants to meet new people. Fran suggests, okay, in this case, what is the answer? Joining a new fit fitness center. Okay, joining a, food, a, a new fitness center. Um, let's see the number two, the question number two. It says, Sandy can get a recommendation for a personal trainer. The answer okay. could be at the Boston, from... Boston Marathon uh, from someone who raced from Frank Cousin Rachel. From Frank Cousin Rachel. Cousin Rachel. Okay. The number three says, Gary thinks that space travel is boring. Uh, didn't happen before 1985. It finished for now. It's finished for now. Okay. Uh, Pan think Robots will build a, a space station. People will build homes at the moon. Astronauts are robots. Pan 
People will build homes on the moon. Okay. Very good. So let let discuss. Okay, uh, we're gonna discuss this one because this is a, an interesting topic here. Jerry thinks that space travel is finished for now. I want to listen you uh, to uh, tell something about this. What do you think? What's your um, own perspective about this? Do you think that a uh, space travel uh, already finished? I think that no, because there are many companies that are, that are developing space travel for tourists. Okay. Uh, for send people to the moon too. Okay, very good. Uh, do you do you um, see the news that well currently happen uh, today? Uh, I don't know if you watch the the, the news on the TV or or internet. Do you watch it? Do you know? Yeah, I watch. You watch I, it. I watch okay. it. Tell it's us. Solid. What what is that news about? Because it's uh, something. A spaceship landed in Mars today at 3 p.m. national hour. Okay, okay, very good. And sent to image. And sent to image too. Yes. And Mars that's... looks like like a dessert. Yes, that's true, sir. That's true. So, um, so for that reason, it can be stated that uh, space travel are not finished, okay? Spirit travels are beginning the new era because uh, as you say, mister, um, th there are companies who are, uh, who are giving a lot of money to build um, uh, a lot of, um, well, spaceships and, and, and many, uh, uh, satellites and, and a lot of things related to space travel that the purpose is uh, to move humans to other uh, planets. In this case, uh, I've been reading um, an article and, and I think this is related to this uh, uh, event that happened uh, uh, today uh, where uh, that company uh, wants to send humans to uh, Mars, uh, and something that is related to this, in the audio it says that, um, well, it's supposed that for uh, 2015, uh, I mean 2050, uh, it's supposed that um, uh, humans are going to be living um, in in uh, space stations or uh, building ho homes in, in, on the moon or on Mars. So what do you think about that? You think that can be possible? Do you think that uh, have to, to, we have to wait more than, than, well, 30 years in the future? I think that we had to wait uh, more years because the, the spaceship for tourists is not is not a good develop actually and the cost is too much cost a, a quarter of million dollars for tourists yes. travel to to the moon yes there, there is an airplane um that uh, do something like that for tourists and it is just in, in, in uh, let me see um, I guess it's in, in, in Russia, where it's a, a, an airplane that uh, fly over the, a, the earth and you have a, a well, you have a, 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 a well, you do fly as a, as a tourist and you have the experience of flying in, in that airplane. Um, I don't know if you haven't seen that that um, 
that program that Russia uh, has. I, I forget the name of, of it. Yeah, I saw I saw an article about that. Okay, let me look for it. Because it is an airplane that it has a name. Uh, Okay, zero G, that's the name of the program, zero G. Okay, uh, and, and people pay a lot of money. Um, it costs, as you said, sir, it costs around $1 million just for 15 minutes. <laughs> too much money and too few. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that's true. Uh, but people, some people pay that. Um, then we have another topic here it says spam think uh, people will build homes at moon uh, and there is something here that is a little bit interesting that says robots will build a space station robots will build a space station do you think that that could be possible No, in, in, in 2020, do you think, that, I mean, 21, do you think that uh, robots can build a, a space station? I think that no, it's not possible because robots always are, uh, need a, an operator, a human. A human operator, yes, that's true. Yes, that, that's what I think. I, I think that around uh, 100 years, years in, in a future, uh, maybe, could be, because uh, we have now, in 2021, we have uh, robots that are, uh, well, can be said smart, uh, like smart robots, <laughs> but uh, they are now autonomous. So it needs an operator, as you say, sir. Let's see. Uh, I, I won't I won't send this because um, we I won't just check if you answer uh, all these uh, exercises. I, I won't send it. Okay, I won't submit. Uh, we're going to see the other exercise, and it says uh, correct the mistake. Here we have uh, the instructions number one, and it says correct the mistake in each sentence or question. You need to type in the complete new sentence. Uh, and do not forget to use capitals, periods, or question marks uh, when it's needed. Um, in the first one, it says, uh, do you know where can I, can I get some, uh, someone to cut my hair? Um, how do you, how do you do in this exercise, in this sentence, number one? How do you correct this sentence? You remember that? Actually, the platform don't take like good the answer. Okay, but what do you think it, it, it's the answer here? Is, do you know where I can get someone to cook my hair? That way? Yes. Okay. Uh, that's true, right. yes, that, that one is the correct answer. Do you know where I can get um, want to get my hair. Uh, in the sentence number two, it says you have, you have uh, your cat's fix 
at an auto repair shop? What is the possible answer here? You can have your car fixing at an auto repair shop. You can have? I didn't your listen to your car. Okay, your car. Fixing. Okay. At an auto repair shop. Oh. Okay. Very good. The number three. Do you know where me can have her driver? Do you know where? Elisa. Okay. <laughs> me can have mm -hmm. her driver's license. Renew it. Question. Okay. Do you know where Lisa can have? This way. Elisa can have her driver license renew. Question. Okay. Final is renewable exactly okay and this one okay you can get you can get your leather okay boots shiny Final D, shiny. Okay. Right. Uh -huh. At Joyce Shoe Shop. Very good. What about the rest? Uh, do you think it's correct or incorrect? It's incorrect. <laughs> it's the incorrect. In the this... word shiny. Oh, sorry. That's it. Okay, very no. good. Okay. Um, in the second part, we have in the instruction, it says, choose the correct three word phrase numbers uh, that it's supposed that we must uh, we must complete here, okay? Uh, well, there is there, a, someone wants to participate. Thank you, Miss Alvarez. Okay. Is there someone who wants to uh, work on it? Hello. And the uh, number one uh, coming up with coming up with the number two. Number two, keep up with. Keep up with, and the number three. Number three, cut down on. Cut down on. Okay, let's review this. Uh, we're not focused in, in the answer because that you know if you have correct or incorrect that sentence. And I won't send it, as I said before, I won't submit it. Um, what we're going to do here is to identify uh, 
what is the topic what, that we are referring to? For instance, in the sentence number one, do you know where can, uh, well, do you know where I can get someone to cut my hair? Do you uh, can identify to what topic, to what sessions uh, is this sentence referring to? You know the topic? You remember it? Do you know where? Okay, but the topic, no, I, I, I'm not asking for the answer. Uh, I'm asking you about the, sec the, se the section that you have in the platform uh, that it is linked, that is related to this sentence, uh, the structure at all. Huh? You remember that? Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for you guys. No, teacher, I can't remember the topic. You can remember a topic. No. Okay. Let's <laughs> let's let's review. Let's review. Um, in the first one, uh, we're to, we're checking um, uh, in the well in the section number one, what it says. Uh, what's wrong with? Okay. Um, and then we have a. Then we have. Um, and a specific, I mean, section one, say, I, I, was, uh, I was thinking in section one is section two, the section two, uh, where we have uh, the, um, the way how we report um, problems. You remember that? Yeah, now, now I can remember. You can remember it. Okay, yeah. uh, in section two there, um, we have to, um, uh, well, we identify in that in, in a specific exercise that we have there um, to identify and uh, how we report, how we report problems and how we ask for it. Uh, well, how we ask for it to solve it. In the sentence number two, is the same, the same is happening. In this part, we are uh, reporting in a specific problem. Um, you can check the, the platform later if you want um, to see how, the, how it works. But I, I will make a, 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 a review, okay, a small review. Um, if you notice those sentence, in this part, we have a subject class in, in a modal verb, okay, plus a, the, the auxiliary verb, have. What happened there? When we use that structure, we are going to use the past participle in the sentence, okay? In the sentence, in, in, in this part. Why? Because we're using the present perfect, okay? Present perfect. And the rule says that after, uh, oh, well, we use the uh, present perfect structure, we are going to use after have uh, the path, the very in past participle. Um, that's the reason why we use fix at a, in, in this part of the sentence. Instead of saying fix, we say fix it, okay? Uh, so that's a way that we do it. The same happened in, in, in the in the number one, but in this case, it's just the order that is um, that the, the mistake. Okay, just the order. 
In the number three, do you know where Lisa can have her driver license renew? It, the same happened as, as exercise number two, where we need to use we need to use the past participle. But the thing here uh, is that we are uh, we have the structure of a question. Okay. Uh, in the exercise number four, you can get um, your letter box shine at Joe's shops. shops. Uh, I mean, uh, at Joe's shoe shop, there we have to use the past participle using the verb shine. Why? Because we're putting something uh, about a specific problem. And there we have the way how we do it. After get, we use past participle to. In the, in the part number two, we hear a, so in, in, in the section, section number three, how we use um, three word phrase solvers. Well, in that, in that section. And we know also how to use two words phrase solver. I remember that I bring you some examples about it, where you have to solve uh, and where you get the meaning of some of them, of some of the of the phrasable to or phrasable, two word phrasable. Sorry, and also um, the three word phrasable and the meaning of some of them. Do you remember when I said that in the case of phrase over, do we don't have the literal meaning in some of them? Do you remember that? What happened with it? Do you remember it? When I say uh, that phrase over do not have the, a literal meaning? Yeah, yeah, I can remember. You can remember, sir. Okay. Um, yes. That happened. That happened because um, these uh, phrase numbers are composed by uh, adverbs and change the meaning, okay? Of, of the, change the main meaning of, of the verb. Um, how we are going to identify the meaning of those phrase numbers? Oh, I'm checking the context of the sentence, checking the context of the te text, uh, or checking the context where we are seen or where we seen uh, a phrase of our use, could be in a book or a, an article, okay? We're going to identify the meaning, uh, checking just the uh, context where it is used. So there we have the exercise V. Let's see the exercise C. In this part, uh, the, the instruction said, complete the suggestions for possible solution. Paige smartphone is dead and she can figure it out. I mean, figure out how to get it to work again. You only need to type the correct form of the verb given in brackets, infinitive or gerund. Okay, this is a, a topic that we recently uh, study uh, where we have to identify if we use infinitive or gerund. Uh, tell me, what about the exercise number one? What is the point? What is the answer that you have for it? Uh huh. Okay, to check out. Check out in the exercise number two. Try. try to try or try to try. Okay. To try. Okay, thank you. Uh, to try, sorry. <laughs> okay, and the number three. 
No, and the second one is only try. Only try. Okay. Okay. And the third one? Bring it. Bring it. Okay. Very good. Uh, well, in this part, if you remember, uh, when do we use infinitive and gerund, we say that infinitive, uh, it is composed by uh, the base form of a verb. The only thing that we must add to infinitive is uh, the word to, okay, at the beginning of the verb. In the case of the gerund, we say, and I remember that I told you, that the gerunds are composed by the main verb plus the ing form. But this becomes gerund only when we use it as a noun, okay? In the other cases, those are cool and continuous, but if we use it as a noun, what happened? They become gerund. And in the part number two, it says instruction. Complete the sentences with a, a go, during, for, from, in, over, since, or to. Just type the word, not capital letters or periods are needed. Okay, tell me. I go. Okay, in the, in the first one you say? I go. I go, okay. In the next one, the uh, number two? From. Okay, from. Number three? During. During. The number four? Since. Since. Excellent. Um, well, we have here, Vincent Van Gogh died in 1990 more than uh, 100 years ago. Very good. In this case, uh, when do we use uh, those words? When do we use it? Do you remember that? Do you remember when do we use those words that we saw that topic? We recently saw that topic. Uh -huh. When do we use it? When we talk about a period of time. Okay. Um, we use those words when we refer to something um, uh, or when we, um, when we refer to a specific thing in the past. Okay. We can use ago, we can use from, we can use during, we can use since. That's depend on how we construct the sentence. A go, it is commonly used for saying uh, the numbers of years or months or, or, or hours or minutes that happen in a specific moment uh, in, in, in the past, okay? From, it is used to determine a period of time, okay? from a, a specific year to a specific year. And then we have during, during. This one, it is used to set up a period of time, okay? It is, a, a, in this case, it, it is used for general periods. In this case, we say uh, the 2000s, okay? During the 2000s, we're setting that, that happened in, a, in 2000s. Uh, in the number four, it says people have been using home computers since, okay, since the 1980s. What happened with this word? Uh, with this word, we use or we refer to something in the past, but it's currently happening now, uh, yet, okay? It is happening, it's, it is in the present uh, too. That's the use of scenes. Something that happened, but continues 
into the present. Uh, in the part number three, the instruction says complete the predictions with will, a future continuum, or the future perfect. Just stop, type the verb in its correct tense. Do not type the entire sentence, just the uh, answer. Okay, tell me, what do you think about the number one? What is your answer? Uh, someone who hasn't participated or haven't participated. I would like to replace. Okay, Miss, tell us. We'll replace. Okay, we'll replace. The sentence number two. The sentence number two will be used. Okay, will be used. The number three, okay, is there. With the, with the at the end, use. Yes. Oh, use, will be used. Okay, thank you. Very good. Uh, the number three is there. The number four. Won't live. Okay, won't. Okay, in the number five. We'll have discovered. We'll have discovered. Very good. So there we have uh, this. Uh, what happened with it? This, this uh, kind of sentence, this type of sentence, are used to report something in a future. Okay. It is used for uh, making predictions um, using, using uh, time expressions like this. Uh, using will. Okay, we are predicting something that's going to happen in the future that could happen or not, but it is a, a supposition. And then we have the last exercise that is a, a reading, and it says a, that we must read the ads and then check true or false statements. True or false statements. Uh, is any volunteer who wants to read the 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 ad here? Is there any volunteer? May I try, Mister? Okay, go ahead, sir. I can see. You can see. Yes, I can see the presentation. Okay, so, sir, tell us the number one. I can see yet. And you can see why. Give me a second. Uh, let me show you. And what about now? Yes, thank you. The blaster sits twenty. The blaster sits hundred six hundred twenty is a new cell phone that will be able to do almost everything as user wants it has. Instant messaging, a built-in camera, camera, games, and the ability to send and receive digital files. Of course, you can also use it to make phone calls. It's perfect for people who will be typing a lot of text message. It has a tiny keyboard that falls out when you need it. Cutting edge technology. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, let me see. Okay. Someone, uh, thank you, sir. Okay, let me see. Someone else wants to read the, uh, the ads number two.
Hello, are you there, guys? Can I do it? Yeah, sure, you can try it. Going camping. Do you plan to take your cell phone, laptop, MP3, electronic device? Here is just the thing you will need. The solar field. It's a tiny solar panel that you can take with you anywhere. It weighs less than a pound, but it generates plenty of power. Just place it in the sun and plug in your phone, computer, or other device. What a technological achievement. Okay, thank you. Uh, the last one, uh, is there any other volunteer who wants to read this? No. Okay, hey, go ahead, miss. Okay. One of the last and coolest invention, this, the ice cream is for you. It looks like a pair of fashionable sunglasses, but when you look through all the lenses, you see a small screen about three feet away. You can watch movie and download your favorite music videos. Perfect for traveling in style. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, we're going to see the exercises. You're going to tell me if it is true or false, okay? Uh, in number one, the blaster has a lot of, uh, I mean, has a fold out keyword for easy typing, true or false? It's true. It's true. Okay. In the number two, the blaster won't be able to do things like instance messaging. It's false. False. It's false. Okay. The number three, the solar fee must be plugged into an electrical socket. It's false. False. The number four, uh, the solar free can keep your MP3 batteries recharged in the wilderness. True. True. In the number five, it says, the ice cream is just a fancy pair of sunglasses. True or false? True. Okay. And the last one, you can watch your favorite uh, videos while we're in uh, the ice cream, true or false? True. True. Okay, thank you to all of you. Well, there we have and that, that exercise that um, we can identify and practice or reading comprehension, okay? Because we must read the information that we have on, on that uh, uh, well, infographic or feeds or what? News, ads, I mean, ads, ads, that's the word. Uh, the information that we have in the ads and we can uh, answer just like false or true or false. Okay, very good. That's a good um, uh, exercise for reading. Let me see guys, uh, I think that's been enough for uh, tonight, I want to listen to you. Um, what do you think about it? Uh, are you still uh, able for the next model? In my opinion, Mr. We have to practice the future and to scramble sentence because are um, difficult for someone. This is my opinion, practice a scramble, identify the mistake in sentence, and that's it for my opinion. Okay, uh, thank you, sir. Thanks for your words. Uh, let me see. Uh, is anyone who wants to say something? Because this is the end of the uh, video classes that we have for this course. You want to add something? or not? Me. 
it's, it's great to be here and I hope you see you again in the next model to all of us. <laughs> okay, sir. Uh, it's, been, it's been a pleasure. Oh, I have my, my video camera. Turn it off. <laughs> okay, guys, it's been a, a pleasure to be with you. Uh, believe me, it's been a good experience for me working here with all of you. Um, you are so, uh, well, you have been very patient with me. And also, uh, I think you have a, a, a lot of skills in English and you have to practice uh, more, more, more because you are in the in the right path you are uh, going going well through this process uh, you are in pre advanced and and that's good and and uh you level your level in english is good and believe me it's been uh, a good experience for me so i have to say goodbye because i have to attend a, a another group and at uh, 9 p.m. And uh, guys, I hope to see you soon. Uh, and well, if you want to, if you want something, if you, if you need help for something, you have my number there and you can contact me and I will be uh, able uh, for you to help you. Uh, so that's all and blessings for all of you and blessings uh, in your uh, future uh, courses, uh, maybe I, I see you there or maybe not, but uh, well, let's see what happens. Uh, so uh, bye bye guys and that's all. Thank you teacher. See you soon everybody. Thank you, bye guys. Stay safe. Good night everyone. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night everyone. Thanks for all, teacher. You're welcome, sir. Thanks for being patient for us. See you. <laughs> Thanks to you, Miss. Uh, well, bye, guys. I will finish the video.